Here we have a tree. One way to define a tree is a tree is just a connected graph without any cycles. We call a cycle is just a collection of distinct edges and vertices that come together so that the first vertex is also the last vertex. It closes into a cycle. In a tree, we have no cycles. Now, trees are important because we often store data in trees. For example, you can think of your family tree. Will you have a parent and their offspring, and that parent is the offspring of some ancestor. You can go back and represent your family data in the form of a tree. What we're interested in are what are some of the properties of trees. You might notice that on a tree, there are many leaves. That is, on a tree, you will have vertices that have degree exactly one. We call these the leaves of the tree. What else can we say about trees? Another important property of trees is that on a tree, any two vertices are connected by a unique path. For instance, if I pick these two vertices, there is exactly one path that will take me from the one to the other. This is not the case in a cycle. In a cycle, if you pick two vertices, you have two paths. You can either go above or you could have gone below. And in fact, that observation is exactly the justification for this property. See, if you had two vertices, call them U and V, inside of some tree that were connected by more than one path. Then we can think. For a while, those two paths may be the same, but if they're distinct paths, then at some point, they'll have to diverge from each other. And yet, since they're gonna end up at the same place, at some point, those paths are going to have to converge again and meet. Why can't this happen in a tree? Well, if you did have these two distinct paths between U and V, then notice they will form a cycle in your tree. And we defined a tree to be a graph without cycles. There's another property of trees. If your tree has N vertices, then it has n minus 1 edges. So we might check this really quick. In this particular tree, there are 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 vertices. Our number of vertices is 9. So we should expect there to be 8 edges. And let's check. There's 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8 edges. Why is this true in general for trees? We can prove it by induction. Let's suppose we look, just think about the simplest case where n equals 2, where there are just two vertices in your tree. Then they'll have to be connected by an edge in order to make sure it's a connected graph. And so you'd have two vertices and one edge. Okay. So the fact holds when n equals 2. So we're going to assume it's true when there are k vertices. And now we need to show it's true when there are k plus 1 vertices. So imagine some graph that has k plus 1 vertices, a tree with k plus 1 vertices. We, we don't know what it looks like. It could look like anything. But you have some tree with k plus 1 vertices. Well then, since we said every tree has a leaf, you can pick some leaf of this graph. And we know the leaf will have degree 1, which means there'll be just one edge 
connected to it. What we will do is we'll delete that vertex and that edge from the graph with k plus 1 vertices. What are we left with? Well, clearly it's still a tree. We're not going to add any new cycles by just removing an edge. So now we have a tree with k vertices. So now we can assume the number of edges is one fewer than the number of vertices. But notice, since we had removed a single vertex and a single edge to begin with, that means that we had to have to begin with the number of vertices was one more than the number of edges. So this relationship holds. In fact, each of these properties of trees, any of them, could have been our definition. Instead of defining a tree as a connected graph without cycles, we could have defined a tree to be a graph where every two vertices are connected by a unique path. And then we could have proved these other properties. Or we could have started with the definition that a tree is a graph that has n vertices and n minus 1 edges. And then we could have proved the other properties. These are all equivalent statements about trees.